I'm standing now in a lobby outside of the chapel in our main office, which is part of our renovation is gonna be completely redone. You'll enter into the church at street level. You'll be able to take a set of stairs or an elevator lift up to this, the sanctuary level, or down to the basement level towards Cooper Hall and our classrooms. So for weekday gatherings and Sunday 8 a.m. worship, we will enter Union through our West Newton Street entrance. Uh, you see on the left there, uh, this whole area will be covered under a fire alert system, the panels being installed. You see the vaulted ceilings. There's the elevator lift, which is still being installed. You can go up three stairs to the chapel and sanctuary level. There's the entrance to the chapel. You also see the vaulted ceilings, the original ceilings there. We've expanded the hallway. Now inside of our beautiful chapel at Union Church. And as part of our renovation, we have the opportunity to make our worship space even more versatile and more dynamic. The plan as part of this renovation is to replace our static pews with movable chairs which will allow us to live into what's known as Church in the Round. And we're going to place at the center of our worship space our baptismal font, the communion table, and the preaching of the Word. Here's a look at the chapel as the pews have been removed, the carpet as well, the elevated area taken out to make space for multi-purpose, various orientations, of using this space for worship and for gatherings. Take a look at the entrance here. What a before and after. It's pretty incredible what these uh, craftsmen have done. It's like a brand new space. There's the elevator lift at the chapel area. The drop ceilings are gone. You get the original architecture, the high vaulted ceilings. This is entering the main office from the hallway before and after. The color scheme is a grayish wall, black doors with white trim. A lot more open, welcoming. Those doors were original, repurposed. So let's head downstairs, a set of stairs there, and of course you can take the new lift down. There's the hallway to Cooper Hall through that door. There will be eventually in our next phase four accessible restrooms and a shower in this area. Not able to do it at this part of the work. We have some more fundraising to do. You'll also see in this room, which will be a conference room, how much water infiltration we had coming in behind the drywall uh, in the original foundation. So we're working on a full roof replacement, hopefully to begin later in the summer to be completed by the winter. To shore up our building. There's the pump as the sewage and water lines from West Newton side had collapsed. So we've got a pump that's going from this side of the church to the West Rutland side, which saved us a couple hundred thousand dollars. And here is one of the scariest parts of the church, the original electrical panel knob and tube from the 19th century 200 amps which we were still using but a super fire hazard 
That's the before. Here is the after. All the electrical wiring on this side of the church is brand new and safer to preserve our 150 year old building. So there it is, Union. We're on our way. <laughs>